I'm Teo, <laughs> reporting from Media Group 3. This week, we covered a range of stories from pre-registration to the controversy involving BioCollin. First off, we're going to start with telling you how to pre-register to vote. Let's see it. How did you decide to implement this pre-registration booth into YNG? So our Secretary of State's platform, J.S. Undu, her, she wanted to pre-register as many delegates as possible. Um, we are trying to have a more um, young adults participate in actual elections within our state um, nationally. So we thought if we hold a pre-registration booth at Sacramento, it will get more people aware that they can, they are eligible to vote, that they have the chance to vote, and that they should vote when they as soon as they turn 18. Or if they are 18, they should participate in elections right now. Ever thought about running for office? We asked elected <laughs> officials for their best advice for running a campaign. My name is Kennedy Goff, and I'm here with Emily Kopp, who ran for Youth Gov last year. I am here with Nick Falk. You ran for youth governor last year. Do you have any advice for future delegates who may want to run? I would say just honestly enjoy the process. It's so much fun. And even if you don't win, you still like, gain so much from the experience. And just have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. You don't have to be perfect. Um, just take the opportunity because it really is amazing. I have always been stuck into this high school mentality of just get good grades and, and you know, get the extracurriculars and, and do you know, the typical uh, onto the college track that normal uh, high schoolers do. But I think that doing something extraordinary, doing something that's different really gives you a better perspective on who you are. And so I think running for youth governor is a great way to do that. If you're willing to dedicate yourself to the program and if you're willing to really just put yourself out there, then I think that you should definitely take the opportunity and just work on, work on being the best person you can be. Aren't you glad I'm back? Up next, we have the live youth governor debates. Let's see what they have to say. So our next question is, should we remove reform or keep the electoral college? Uh, I think we should remove the Electoral College. The fact that a minority of our country can control uh, policies that will impact all of us is absolutely absurd. I think we should have a more fair democracy, a more direct democracy, and that is with majority rule through the popular vote. Thank you. Well, I do not support abolishing the Electoral College. I support reforming the Electoral College. I believe that our election system needs to represent the will of the people of the United States of America, but abolishing the Electoral College will not do so because it will give people in big cities advantage over the people in the small cities, and they need to be represented too. I support kind of switching over to the electoral process where the, the electoral votes in that state, like Maine and Nebraska do it, they would be able to basically split their electoral votes based on the popular vote within that state, because that would be more fair to the small states I'm sorry, and but the to the population. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in favor of reforming the Electoral College because I think that it shouldn't, because places that have less people shouldn't be at a disadvantage compared to places like Los Angeles or New York just because they have more people. So I think that we need to find a way that makes it more fair and to make sure our country is run correctly. Thank you. BioCollins controversy from its Kona application. What is it all about? Let's find out. Um, could you briefly just explain the current situation that's going on with your Kona video? Okay, so yeah, I made my Kona application video a couple weeks ago, and you know, I was misinformed when I spoke and I used poor choice of words and applied. Honestly, you know, in my head, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna get this video done, just my application. I wasn't thinking of the applications that could happen, and you know, as I was getting endorsed to the parties, that seems to be the time frame when it started to get out, so as a result, I lost very really and Grizzly, um, possible endorsements, and the main reason I didn't get those is because of the video, and it kind of spread around a lot, a lot on Yoda and stuff like that. I came out and addressed it, you know, explained to people I was misinformed. I sat down and talked to my team for like two hours about it. They're all like strong, powerful women. They explained to me where I went wrong. I learned from it. I sat down with the Flip the Caucus, the female leadership in power, female leaders in power. We talked about it, and I did all that in private the day of, and then I came out publicly and addressed it yesterday. I addressed it at the governor's debate, and then also in the Red Assembly yesterday, so just to clear it up. I didn't take yeah. that video down because it wasn't helping anything. It was just making things worse. Which I,
true predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world. 